Hi, we are now at the Santa Barbara Partners in Education office, and with me is Michelle Magnuson, Program and Volunteer Coordinator of this nonprofit organization. How are you doing, Michelle? Great, thank you. It's good to have you with us. Later, we'll have Dr. Kathleen Boomer, Superintendent of the Goleta Union School District. But for now, let's start with the mission. Our organization hopes to connect businesses with education, and we're doing that through a number of programs, such as Computers for Families, the Volunteer Recruitment and Coordination Program, and then also Teacher Technology Training Programs. Now let's talk about those programs that you were just mentioning, starting with a very popular one called uh, Career Education and Workforce Development Program, I yes. think. Yes. Tell me more about this program. Okay. So what we've started with that committee, uh, a new internship program, we've just finished our first pilot and we had 50 interns. They went out to various businesses and nonprofits in the community and served 100 hours, all high school students ages 16 to 18. And we are excited by our results. We definitely have a few improvements to make on this first pilot and we uh, will be meeting with our committee and revising to do a little more career exploration, but the first uh, session went great. Perfect. Now there is another very successful program called Computers for Families. Yes. Tell me how does it work and who can apply? Okay, Computers for Families uh, is you know our flagship program started in 1997 and what we do is place computers with families starting in the fourth grade and families can indicate to their teachers that they hope to participate in this program but ultimately it is the teacher who signs up because this is more than just a computer distribution program. We're really working to build a comprehensive way of connecting the teachers with the parents uh, so that they can communicate together. We're looking for computers donated by the community which are then taken to the Los Prietos Boys Camp and refurbished by a computer class there and meanwhile these computers are now prepared and ready to go into families homes and from there the teachers will work on special curriculum with the students and the families. We have special translation software that allows uh, parents to write an email in Spanish, have it delivered to a teacher in English and then the teacher can communicate back, it's translated back. So it's really improved communication between families, especially low-income families in our area. That's all new technology. Mm -hmm. Great. Now, talking about new technologies, you have a specific program called Technology Innovation and also a training for teachers, which they go together. Yes. How does it work? Well, we've started a program called the Education Technology Ambassadors. Mm -hmm. It's a program to help recognize the teachers in our community who are going above and beyond in terms of technology in their classroom. Right now, they're, they're really putting their own time and effort into uh, building the opportunities that they have for their students. And so we try and recognize them uh, as part of their award and recognition. They receive additional hours of training, so we'll have trained staff come in and share with their students uh, anything that they wish. They've done website training, they've done PowerPoint, and they also get $50 towards any classroom purchase that they see fit. And a lot of them have been using them in really innovative ways, using WEEZ for their curriculum and um, just doing some really fun things that get students involved. Good effort there, too. So lastly, another great program that you have, and I know you are the person behind it, is the Volunteer uh, Recruitment and Coordination Program. So tell me everything about this great program. Oh, great. Well, what we do is we invite members of the community to come join us in our efforts to educate students. Uh, more than just coming and doing a back-to-school night or uh, jogathons, we're really trying to get parents and community members involved in children's education in our community. We do a lot of outreach to the university and city college communities uh, through career fairs and uh, volunteer fairs, and we have other special activities that we invite community members to to let them know about our efforts and additionally we've just launched a brand new website which I'm very excited about that allows volunteers to sign up completely online and basically what we do is we take the volunteers, match them up with a need, issue them a volunteer passport, they can waltz right into the office and be placed into the school. If there's any special fingerprinting or TB testing needs, we help them cover that and we just basically we're trying to reduce the workload of the school. Michelle, thank you for all that information. This is an excellent program for our community and I wish the best for you and partners. And now we're going to bring Dr. Kathleen Boomer to have more information about the Galita District and all the good things that Partners in Education is doing there. Thank you. Thank you. We are back and now we have Dr. Kathleen Boomer, Superintendent of the Golita Union School District and also a board member of this nonprofit organization. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. We are glad to have you with us today first. 
what has been the participation of Partners in Education in your district? It's been remarkable. Uh, primarily for us, the program partners, uh, that Partners provides, the Computers for Families program, is probably the most impactful program that we have right now. Although I think the Volunteer Speakers Bureau will eventually be equally impactful, but right now, Computers for Families is the program that we enjoy the most and get the most out of. How many families benefit from it in Goleta? Hundreds because we have nine schools and we have distributions at some schools, two distributions a year in order to get the computers out to all the children who need them. So I would say it's well over 100 computers every year that is distributed inside the district, so it's pretty effective. Great, and how has been the training for the teachers in your district? The training program is extraordinary and the individuals involved in the training program come out to the school site and provide training either as a, in a group for a number of teachers or individually inside their classrooms. And I think the teachers have really benefited from that as they develop concepts and ideas that they want to use technology for. The training has been available for them to learn how to integrate technology more thoroughly into their classrooms. Great. And lastly, why do you think it's so important to bring new technologies to our schools? Well, I think the impact on teaching is significant, but we would not be able to utilize the technology fully if children did not have the computers at home. So teachers are now able to do more homework assignments, more research work, because internet connections are also provided, that the children can compete equally with children who come from homes that have more economic advantages. I think the other secondary impact we have is with families, low-income families who have never experienced technologies and have been able to use them to communicate with their teachers and, of course, use them with their own children and learn together the computer and have the child help the parent and the parent help the child. So I think it's a significant impact. Thank you, Kathleen, and I wish the best for you and Partners in Education. Thank you very much. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv.